Hi everyone, welcome to Border Tanks with Stewie JP. I'm Stewie and this is the LTTB, the Tier 7 Russian light tank. And been driven today by the flying elite from Hodor clan. That's how you say it, Hodor. You don't just say Hodor. And he's platooned up with his old mate Storm Jager and Samich. Make me a Samich from PB CAC, probably between keyboard and chair. And they're in T44s and Roman Tile Borsig Waffen Traggers in their tier 8s. And looks like. Flying Elite's been doing a bit of boost practice, and I know a lot of clans are doing this, and he's getting up to, he's on the far eastern side of the minimap. Now I'm not really sure about this stuff, the, I thought that Wargaming were going to try and hit this on the head, but it looks like they haven't, so whether or not that changes in the future or not, I don't know, but it does make for some pretty good views. So I recommend anyone jump into a training room and have a bit of a stuff around with the, um, different mountains and different climbs you can do. Anyone who's a, a fan of, of team efficiency in the Gold League will um, will know that they're pretty 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 big on it and they, they seem to they do it well and they it makes for interesting gameplay. So the Flying Elite is up here. He's not quite red lights red line sniping but he is definitely sniping from up high and of course from this different vantage point and he's precariously balanced on that little mountain. He thinks he's a mountain goat. He can get shots on, and this is that's the advantage of doing this, that he can get shots on some of those tanks where you wouldn't be able to get shots on those tanks normally. That OI which the Flying Elite's shooting at now, as well as the ONE when he was around the corner. From, from this area here where that panther is, you'd have to poke right over the top, but from being right back here where the Flying Elite is, very low chance of being spotted unless the enemy sort of come all the way down to where Samich is in his Rheumatol Borsi. So that's why people like doing it. You get up high, you get a different vantage point and the, the cover that the enemy tanks find themselves in, uh, in other words, the, the buildings or the ridge lines or rocks that they use to hide from advancing enemy tanks uh, aren't high enough when your gun is up this high up in the air you, you can just shoot over the top of those um, over the top of those cover points. He gets a shot into the back of the T-34 now you might have noticed that Flying Elite flying fu flying shooting full APCR full um, premium rounds in fact it doesn't have any standard rounds even loaded in this tank and the APCR rounds do up to 180 damage or average 180 damage a shot 216 penetration normal only 170 you've got a few high explosive rounds as well just probably just in case they cap now that T-34 probably thought he was in a pretty good spot there but I think the Flying Elite probably took a good thousand or even more hit points of damage off the tier 8 American heavy tank as he as that tier 8 heavy was flanking successfully flanking their, his teammates the teammates have already they've been overrun on the heavy corner in the you know around about C4 where the heavy tanks normally do their brawl but they've absolutely smashed through where the medium tanks normally go and that's where Sturm Jagger and Samich has, has gone and now with this vantage point similar to in real life when you're up high on a mountain you get a pretty good view and the flying elite is is keeping the cap circle lit up that type 62 clearly looking for some easy artillery kills that's where the artillery traditionally hide and of course the AMX 13 F3 it's reasonably fast so he's gotten out of there and gone up to where the medium tanks normally go which is a bit more safe territory flying elite now blind shooting back towards that T-34 yet again that T-34 must be getting sick of being hit by LTTB shells but and this is probably one reason why he's loaded full gold he's only got 17 shells left I mean he has fired a lot of shells he's done 2600 hit points of damage that we can see and now he's looking for that type 62 there he is Sturm Jagger should have the T-7 Chinese premium light tank covered but Flying Elite coming down, back down from where he was playing the Mountain Goat and safely dispatches of the Type 62. 11-6 is the score, nearly 3,000 hit points of damage for the Flying Elite from Huldor Clan and now it looks like he's going to help the 112, the Chinese Premium Heavy Tank which 
Looks like he's in a little bit of bother. He's only on 128 hit points, but getting rid of the auto-loading French heavy tank, the AMX 5100, would certainly increase the chances of Valfane in the 112 for surviving. 12 sevens the score. He's done well over 3,000 hit points of damage already. Don't forget that damage counter doesn't count the blind shots that he was taking into this very same T-34, and it seems like fate that Flying Elite gets to kill the American Tier 8 Heavy Tank, and he's picked himself up. Four kills. This will have to be kill number five. Getting rid of a little birdie tank gives him a little bit of a nudge. And now he's only got nine shells left, but that'll be enough for that 1-1-2. One, one, Let's see if he can get himself a top gun in this very quick Ace Tanker replay featuring the LTTB. Does another climb. He's not a bad mountain goat. Now he's still alive, that 1-1-2, one, one, but he's down. It looks like he's in a bit of a hill there. Sturm Jager on full health, so he can certainly take care of that Chinese premium. Heavy tank. 223 hit points, so it'll take more than one shot to kill him. And Sturm Jagan picks up the kill. In the end, a comfortable win, 15 to 10 for the Flying Elite. And his platoon mates, Sturm Jager and Semich from PB CAC. It's an ace tanker mastery badge, as I did hint at earlier in the LTTB. The Bruiser Fighter, fire for effect middle, the high calibre, because he did the most damage and it was at least 20% and have a look at that 4064 hit points of damage 5 kills 1450 base experience no spotting damage and a fair bit of it was sniped but in a tank like the LTTB or anything quick any French light tank or French medium tank would probably be able to get up to those hills as well I know that after that game he played a, he has been playing a few premium tanks to make up for that 67,000 he lost 67,000 and that didn't even count. Didn't even have to auto repair the vehicles. He didn't actually take any damage during that game. It cost him 100,000 credits for just for the ammunition. Anyway, great replay from Flying Elite from Hodor in his LTTB, the Tier 7 light tank, which is probably going to turn into a Tier 8 tank pretty soon. Let's wait and see. Thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks for the replay. Flying Elite, take care and see you all next time.